My name's Adam Short and welcome to the UK Coastal Track. Well today's plan is quite simply try and get to the other side of the estuary failing yesterday. Now the tide is coming in rather quickly so hopefully I'm not going to have too many problems. It's been a bit of an interesting day today. Um, I was at Lohan this morning, uh, paddled down towards Ferryside where I was going to meet the guys from the independent lifeboat station at Ferryside. And uh, it was all going really well. Got about halfway down, and um, then I discovered that Alison and Anthony had been concocting. A little thing of their own, a little surprise for me, and that was to have a rescue. Well, the rescue went absolutely fine, uh, as you can see. And I was taken across to the Ferryside Boathouse. And that was quite interesting, climbing out of the boat and into theirs, um, something that I wasn't expecting. I then left the Ferryside Boathouse and uh, continued on. Um, unfortunately, I had a slight fall and I twisted my knee. which made it impossible for me to really continue. Uh, so I let the guys know at Burry Point, uh, the RNI station that was expecting me this evening. Um, they actually sent a medic out to uh, come and retrieve me. Uh, it was decided that I needed to have um, a brace, but I took some Coca-Cola mole, um, and that's now starting to kick in. And then, um, it was decided that um, I join one of the RNLI exercises as a volunteer. So I let them all get Hooli ready and uh, started paddling across. About halfway across, the boys came out and joined me. Uh, they wanted to see how the boat would react um, should I need to be towed. Thank you. 
So we attached a line to the to Huli and uh, they started towing me, which was uh, it's a little unnerving. Um, but Huli absolutely stable and absolutely fine until I started noticing that things weren't quite right. Um, as it transpires, when the boys had pumped up Huli, uh, they actually left one of the valves open. So unknown to me, she was actually deflating as I was going across and I had absolutely no choice but to actually be rescued by the RLI <laughs> during the exercise. Uh, so I, I had to climb aboard their boat and they've just dropped me off on the beach on the other side because we were closer to there than, than back at the, the boathouse, it seemed to make sense. So here I am, back on the trek again, back on the coastline, um, high on Kokodamol, and uh, to quote Frank, high on the experience of today. Well, I'm here at Worms Head in Wales, uh, heading back now up the Bristol Channel. Stopped off at the Coast Guard hut just down there and met Penny and Roger, who are both volunteers, looking out for people that, that go out to the worm. Uh, they call it walking the worm. Sounds a bit weird to me. Anyway, they just pointed out that over there, somewhere, is um, the Devon Coast. I can actually see it on the horizon. Uh, Unfortunately, you guys can't. Fantastic. We're in an endeavour to make these short films educational. I like to try and show you what wild edible plants there are and various other bushcraft skills that are useful when you're out trekking. What I found here uh, in the woods is something called ramson, uh, commonly known as wild garlic. Now with these plants the bulbs are actually poisonous and, and I wouldn't recommend eating them. However, you can take the leaves and if you score them and then wrap them around say, I don't know, a leg of lamb, maybe a wild rabbit, and let the flavour infuse, it uh, really does make the meal delicious. Very easy to identify. As you can see the uh, flowers are very, very, very distinctive and also the leaves. If you crush them, and then sniff them, you can smell the garlic. Oh, I love that smell. I haven't walked far and uh, I've come across uh, this. It's a uh, hawthorn. At this time of the year, you'll see that it's uh, beginning to flower. Now, they will turn into very small red berries uh, eventually when they're ripe and you can actually eat the berries but watch the pip, uh, it's a bit solid. Uh, however, this time of the year you can actually eat the leaves. Gives you like a bit of, bit of sweet taste. And the uh, ancients used to call it bread and cheese. Doesn't taste anything like bread or cheese. So I don't really understand why they did that. Not bad though. 